on the slot. Looks big. Val score. Stops in the quarterback. Here's Matthew Barzell having a career year, assists per game and points per game. Brock Nelson, another 20 goal season for him. Horvat shot. Nice blocker save. Here's Mayfield from Pellick. Gets it to Zizekas. Throws it in the corner. Martin behind the net going to work. Other buck in front. He has it shot. Save Johansson. Good opportunity for the fourth line. Shot in front. Oh. Save Johansson. That's Oliver Wallstrom. The youngster trying to get him going. Maybe Patrick Waugh can get more production under number 26. Here comes Holmstrom now with Pajot. Pajot has it. Drop pass beautifully to Dobson. Dobson looking. Throws it in front. Oh. Oh. Wallstrom on the doorstep, number 26, his third goal of the year. And the Islanders under Patrick Waugh strike first. Hey, I just said that Noah Dobson's got to shoot the puck. He's got 52 points in 50 games. Now he's got 53. Puck comes back to the point here. We talked to Patrick Waugh about what's driving their offense, using the point, getting bodies in front, shooting pucks. Noah Dobson put this one at the net. Does it go off of Wallstrom here? Oh, does it look? What an honor it was to play against him, and uh, really cool. What a career he had. It was just so neat before the game to see you guys talking to one another. Shot. Oh! Deflected in front. Kucherov with the shot. That shot hit something. We'll see if it was an Islander or if it was Stamkos. First to the bench is Kucherov. That likely means it's his. Four seconds after the faceoff. This is just another example why faceoffs are so important in the offensive zone. You get it back and... They make a great play. Stamkos makes a great play on the fake shot. And uh, Kucherov seeing eye dog. How about Rad? Actually, actually it's Rad. It's not, uh, yeah. not Stamkos. Lilleberg falls down. Nelson loses control and Sorelli has Lilleberg's back. But great. it's going to come to... Great back pass by, by Sorelli there. Dobson and pass in front. Engvall shot. Nice save, Johansson. Sheary gloves it down, chips it out. And they don't get many power play opportunities. They don't draw many penalties, and the Lightning don't take many penalties. Here's Paul Mary. Oh, what a, oh, pass what a pass. Pass. What a save by Johansson on Brock Nelson. Taking a lot of penalties. Well, if you want to draw penalties, you got to get the bucket. you got to drive it into the scoring areas and make teams draw penalties against you. More puck possession is going to equal more calls, uh, more penalties for Five on five team this year, but they have a good PK. There we go. What a save by Johansson. About. That was blistered by Nelson. Here's Horvat. Back to Brock Nelson. Dobson fakes the one-timer, gets fine, but he gets it back. Barzell plays quick catch with Dobson. He gets it back to Barzell. Down low, Paul Mary. Horvat! Saved by Johansson. Oh, Horvat out to take the face off against Steven Stamkos. Game number 1052 for Stamkos. Two goals behind Keith Kachuk on the all-time goal list. Barzell! <laughs> Off. The Islanders strike quickly. Another important reason why the faceoffs are so important during the game. Some missed coverage, lost coverage, got players getting puck watching. Sure enough, Barzell's all alone. And uh, the young defenseman here gets puck watching and leaves the most dangerous guys on the Islanders all alone in front of the net and as their number one defenseman. And here comes Paul Mary now. Kyle Palmieri stops, moves, middle shot, and didn't quite get to Johansson. Pellick pinching, has it behind the net, goes in front, score! Kyle Palmieri, his 14th of the year, and the Islanders continue to pour it on in this impressive first period. They lead 3-1. to one. And I asked him, I said, you guys look faster, why is that? They're playing as a five-man unit, and what that means, the D got to get involved. Right, he jumps down the wall, patience, points, makes a great play right away out in front to Paul Mary. Paul Mary buries it. But in this league, it is very, very difficult to generate offense if you do not attempt. Kutra probably should have given that a blast. Great pay by Pellet there, just getting his stick in the lane, getting his body in the lane, whatever you can. You know Kucherov's going to fake, but those are big, big plays. Here comes Sorelli now. Sorelli has Hagel to his left. Makes a shot saved by Sorokin. Rebound score. Brandon Hagel's 18th goal of the year. And Tampa Bay, the league's best power play. 
puts one on the board. A long basket, Trelli, the time to get to right there. I think a Roman is a Roman off that got caught. Kill him penalty. You can't let guys in get in behind you. Sure enough, he doesn't throw. He makes a great strong move to the uh, to the net. And there's Hagel once again. Pellet gets there in time to keep it in. But now it comes out. And Watson has it again. Up to Lilleberg, the young defenseman. Here's Tyler Mott with some wheels. Mott in alone. Backhand saved by Sorokin. A good one as Pellet was beaten by Mott. But more importantly than anything for me, in my, in my opinion, he is skating as well as I've seen him skating last year. Rebound off the post! Sorelli almost tied the game! Kucherov floated the shot, Sorelli almost popped it in. Pajot! Oh, 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 oh. Penalty coming up, rebounds wide by Enfor! What a move! Power play as Steven Stamkos tried to prevent a goal. Yep. Well, Tampa with some sustained pressure. They had him end him for a while. They get the puck to the net. But you know what? You got, got to give Tampa credit. They stay on the puck. They stay on the body. They create chances. And here's J.P. Pajot. It's, it's also a long game, too. You're going to get power plays in the third period, possibly, with the game on the line. You want to establish a shooting mentality. It's so important. Face off one by the Islanders. There it is. But in this game, we've got three goals scored off of a defensive zone breakoff down so off the uh, uh, face-offs, and what a bomb that was by Bullock there. Just yeah. hammered that. He can hammer it. He's missing the seven in front of the seven, in the front of the six, but he can bring it. <laughs> Barzell fishes it out with the toe of his stick. Now tries to protect it, almost drew the penalty, doesn't. Pellick has it. He goes to Horvat. Oh, Horvat. Down to Barzell. Islanders are oh. filming. They are filming and they score again. Bo Horvat, 21st goal of the year. And the Islanders, 68 seconds apart. Beautiful screen, great shot. Islanders are definitely feeling it right now. Yeah, and let's talk about Barzell for a second, who's feeling it. He's in on every play for the Islanders, driving offense. He's isolating defenses, breaking them down, finding open guys, and he's, he's looking. To get the number down, there's no reason he should leave Tampa. Oh. You, you wouldn't think so, but uh, <laughs> you've been there. You've seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you put him. Sezikis, in alone, shot, oh. score! They lead six to two. Tampa, they're definitely starting to look a little too tired. And when you're tired playing a back to back, you get sloppy in your own zone. Unfortunately, pass, unforced errors, end up in the back of your net. Everybody's getting involved on the Islanders. They're playing with poise, they're playing with grit. Dobson keeps it in. 14 and a half to go. And let's face it, Bucci, this is a game that the Islanders needed to come out and dictate the pace against a, a team playing on a back-to-back. -back. They're going to be here for a while, as we mentioned. They got Calgary coming in this weekend. That's an afternoon game this Saturday on for fans. A 1 o'clock start. Shot! Hagel. Roka can't find it, and then Glenn Denning almost poked that over him for the shorthanded goal. That seemed like training camp practices right away. He's going to have more time to practice in the coming weeks as another two points is in the bank. we got to come out to more games out here. This building's and, awesome. And, impressive win by the New York Islanders.